website to get your uh, Phillips head screwdriver and start unscrewing these screws out the dish drive one. sort of like fell off, which doesn't matter. Okay, that's done. Flip it over again. And it should come up pretty much like like this pretty much like that so we can put that aside put that. Put over here like this pretty much okay so there's a game there we don't need that so get in the way over there. Now we're actually into the disk drive. But we need to take the bottom cover off because we might need to get underneath it so it comes off like that. Pretty much. That. Just move that out of the way. Put this on here. Like that. And then we can do this. doesn't really have the dish drop on it. Anyway, if you can see down there, there's like a white bit in there. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to put extra light in. So, so what we need, to, we need to push that. So, oh, so and then do that. And just try to literally open. But if you can see, it's really hard to uh, or shot. It's really sticky because because the grease is all is dried out. So we need to find some grease for it. So I think it's sticking. So it might need some grease. So in order to get this tray out need to put a screwdriver down there to push same on this side push and, that sh and the dish tray should not do that it's not meant to do that but you get the idea and it comes straight out which you can see down here I think it's down here somewhere Ah, this one's broken. Yeah, this one's snapped off. But that's an oops. I was meant to push it down. That's like broken, so it doesn't matter anyway. It's old anyway. But now we're, at, we're actually into the disk drive, look. Now we flip it over. You can see there's screws in here. We need to try and take this out. That's quite easy. I've got two clips on here. Which literally just come out like that. But be careful what you are doing because you can see down there. So a ribbon cable. I need to try and take that <clears throat> out. So you need to be really careful. 
careful, pretty much extra careful. You can either do it on on the, there, or you can do it on the laser, which is safer to do it on the laser. And then what you need to do is you need to take plug ribbon cable out of this side, which is for the motor, and you need to take this plug out over here which that goes to the this tray motor it's safer to do it that way so I want the cable to snap there let's move out of the way Get out with your screwdriver. Right. Get the right attachment for this. But I'll cut the video and I'll get back to you. Okay, now I've finally managed to get the plug out. Look, this plug here. Managed to get it out. So we can set this aside. Put the top of there. And now we can finally get into... Into... Underneath of the disk drive. And what we're going to do is... We're going to see if we can take this one take the laser out so we might need we need the smaller attachment so you just bear with me and I'll just get it so now we can actually get in so now we can unscrew this screw over here so unscrew that So, we can just remove that off of there. Yeah, we just got the motor. Now, see, the laser's free now. it runs really freely because it has to do that because it goes quite fast it goes like pretty much like this as you can see now we need to take these out you can either for this you can for this you need to get your small screwdriver and do it. Be careful because it, it might ping out. Just, just be careful just in case it does. Which that side didn't do. So I think it's got these two pin bits there that grip it into place. safe so put it over there okay so we've got them bits there put them next to the screws now cannot literally we then think they just slide out and the reason is correct it's got a top two little pole Metal pole things here. Put that there. 
Look, see, we've got the laser here. Now, you can see the mo this, the uh, worm drives gear motors like hooked into the motherboard in the uh, spindle drive motor. Flip that over. So if you can see here, that's what the laser looks like. If you get problems, it might be because you need to adjust the power in it. But, but what you should never do is put your fingers on it and I think I think I'm okay because I'm hopefully I did not just do that. Should be okay. So if you've got the problems with that. That's what the laser looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to take the spindle drive mate out. Right. So make sure we've got the right size. Yes, just. I think we'll go up a size. Just in case. So yeah, that's the right size now. Okay, that's out. So that should just freely come straight out like that. But remember, it's connected to the this motor. So go down back down a size. Take the smaller screws out. Right size. Remember, it's screwed into metal, so that's the machine screw, screw screws in it. Pretty much bounce just like that. Okay, now what you left with is just this. So yeah, so what you left with. Now, see if you can see in here. So it looks like it might need some fresh grease in it because it looks like it's dried out completely. So, I'm going to go and find some grease where I can get some and I'll get back to you to see if I can sort it all out. But it might take a while, so yeah. Yeah, I'll get back to you.